Hello World of Gamer Social, my name is Refn here in my Assassin's Creed Unity PC fix to remove this stupid flickering scenery that is all over the place because it is dreadful. It is absolutely dreadful. So this has been all over the forums and piss off. This has been all over the forums um, and there is one fix that has been noted quite frequently. Let's just get somewhat up high so I can show you what it looks like as well. Um, one fix that has been noted quite uh, frequently is if you load up a uh, memory four I believe it is or four something because that's crap in it for something then it um, is it's a mission that starts off when it's raining and it resolves the problem the flickering goes away um, my problem is uh, that sucks for a fix that to me that is not a fix that is just a stupid workaround um, and I'm not as far as memory four yet so I don't want to play you know four memories of this crap just to get to a mission where it's raining with the which resolves the flickering so um, I've been doing tons of research and playing around and I've come up with a way um, assisted by various comments and stuff as well, I've come up with a way which actually resolves it. What is that thing? I don't want to get that. Um, it ruined it for me. But yeah, see, as you can see, it looks quite nasty. I mean, apart from the flickering, it looks quite nice, right? This is running at maximum graphics on the PC. And to show you that, actually, just before I do show you the, the little fix, I should show you um, in the options and the graphics. We have uh, resolution 1080, 60 hertz, full screen, brightness, whatever. Um, graphics quality, VSync is on, and if I go to advanced graphics, it's ultra high, ultra high, soft shadows, HBAO plus, uh, TXAA, and Bloom is on. So everything's on maximum. I have a quite a mighty rig. I have the Titan Z, which is a 12 gigabyte graphics card. Uh, my processor is overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz, so it's pretty mighty amount of power in my PC. So there is nothing that should really make this game struggle, but we all know Ubisoft is crap, and there are issues. Um, same with Watch Dogs, I have similar issues, I, I posted a, a little fix on that video as well. Um, also to mention whilst we're here, I do cap this game at 30 frames per second. I know you guys like 60 frames per second, so do I, but for me and my rig, it's just not possible. It just doesn't work, it can't stabilise at 60 frames and it dips below like a bastard. So I have to put up with it, I cap it to 30 and it runs nice and smooth. It does, it does improve it for me, it makes the game playable, apart from this flickering. So let's jump to my desktop and I'll show you what I did to make this go away and then I'll show you the results. So what you need to do is jump to your Assassin's Creed Unity installation folder. For me it's on an external hard drive and a custom folder called Games then in, in Assassin's Creed Unity. Um, for you if you install it into the default location it'll be in your program files um, but, or, or if you did it by Steam it'll be in your Steam apps folder. Um, so wherever you installed the game you need to go there. Uh, when you go into the Assassin's Creed Unity folder, you'll be left with this uh, DLC, sound data support, etc., and tons of random pointless files. Um, what you need to do is go into the videos file. You need to find two videos. The first one is called Ubisoft, and it's the Ubisoft logo.bk2. And you need to either delete it or just rename it. I'm going to put old in front of it. Um, this basically stops it from being used in the game. It's basically in the intro. It's the Ubisoft logo. So by doing that, your intro to the game, um, you know, loading it up, your, your splash screens are going to be less, less of them to show, which loads the game a bit faster because you can't skip them. So that's always a positive as well. The other one is called PC Twin Tibby Dibby Dibby Do. This one here, as you can see on my screen. I'm also going to rename that to old just so it no longer use it. The next thing you want to do, you need to jump into the folder um, that is relevant to your language. Um, for me, it's EN for English. And you want to, the two files here, PC warning and the warning disclaimer. You also want to do the same, put this to old, as well as the warning disclaimer here. And this will fix the flickering option, at least it has for me. Um, so as I'm sure you're aware, this flickering um, issue is happening with SLI. Since patch 4, they broke SLI support with the game. Also, it appears you can't seem to get the full amount of power out of your, your hardware. Um, and it's mighty annoying. But this seems to do the trick. So if we jump back into uh, Assassin's Creed, I will show you the results with these four little foul name changes. And here we are. As you can see, we start from the exact same point. No flickering groundslet, no flickering gowns at all. I've done nothing else. Everything else remains the same. And that can fuck off again. That's exactly the same as before. Um, so yeah, if we then just go and kind of jump up here, like we did before, no different sort of route. Let's try and do everything as similar as we as we can as we did before. Remember, as you can see, the roof was flickering like a madman before, but now it looks absolutely gorgeous. I mean, this game does look absolutely stunning. Once it works, you know, once you get the performance sorted and the flickering scenery has stopped, it looks quite nice. It still makes my graphics card have a bit of a, a bit of a freak out, but as you can see, it looks rather amazing, right? It looks really, really good, and it is nice and smooth. You've got to admit, this is quite smooth gameplay. 
It's all going good. I mean, every now and then it dips down to 29 frames, but that's okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to overly moan about that. It, it is what it is. For whatever reason, no Ubisoft game seems to work nicely with my hardware. I think it might be some sort of problem that Ubisoft have with a Titan Z. They don't seem to support it. Um, but still, I'm not the only one who has these sort of problems. Um, everyone seems to have issues with this game, but this is the best that I can get it so far. This really is the best that I can get it. But as you can see, it looks awesome. It is now playable. I can I can somewhat enjoy this game and just crack on and, and do the story, because I really wanted to buy it, um, but it was stopping me. So hopefully this fix... That's a massive black spike there. So yeah, you still really get it, but... Ah, shit happens, right? Uh, but hopefully this fix does help you as well. Um, it, it's definitely helped me. I mean, the game still does stutter every now and then, but that's just poor optimization. At least now I can cope with it and crack on and play it, right? But thanks for watching, guys. Um, let me know if this does help you out or if you have any other little tips and tricks, put it in the comments. And I will see you hopefully soon.